You know the phrase, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? Well, Joe Biden appears to be doing just that. The Wall Street Journal reporting that China is negotiating with Cuba to establish a new joint military training facility on the island. <laughs> what could be wrong with that? That means that Chinese troops could end up being just 100 miles off the coast of Florida. Secretary of State Antony Blinken doesn't seem too worried about it, though, because he's been clear. We made very clear that we would have deep concerns about uh, PRC intelligence or military uh, activities in Cuba. We've uh, engaged in a number of diplomatic efforts uh, in that regard, and I think uh, they've had some success. This is something we're going to be monitoring very, very closely, and we've been very clear about that. Oh, monitoring, really? Now, this from the guy who just assured President Xi Jinping that we wouldn't get in their way of taking Taiwan. Even if we try, the CCP knows the Biden administration is limited in what they would actually do. As the New York Times writes, clashes over issues between China and the U.S. have become much more acute over recent years as China's military and economic power have grown and as Xi and his aides per perceive the United States to be in terminal decline. Xi, I wonder why. Joining me now, Florida Congressman Mike Walls, Congressman I think this is the biggest news uh, in the United States facing our country right now is what's happening in yeah. Cuba and our absolute indifference to this happening. No red line, no don't even think about it, just we're going to be monitoring it. Right. Your, your reaction to this tonight? Laura, let's, let's let this sink in just for a moment because you're right. This is a seminal, historic moment. We are on the verge of having Chinese Communist Party troops in the Caribbean, 100 miles from the southern coast of Florida. I mean, it's like taking me back to the 1980s, the movie Red Dawn, where you had uh, Soviets and Cubans in, you know, invading the United States. They're taking a play right out the Soviet playbook. But, Laura, this is a world right now where our enemies, our adversaries do not fear any consequences. They harass our planes, harass our ships, break into our bases, uh, spy on our nuclear facilities uh, with a sophisticated balloon, not a silly balloon, and now put troops in our back door uh, and they get rewarded with a meeting. I mean, it's, it's truly astounding, it's dangerous, and this is how wars start. And if you contrast that to just a few years ago with Trump, what happened there? You know, Iran hits our embassy and kills an American. Soleimani, their field general, dead, right? Uh, ISIS gets out of control, continues to attack uh, uh, us in Europe. Baghdadi, dead. The Russians cross a red line in Syria. 300 Russian Wagner mercenaries dead. And, restorance is, and, and deterrence was restored. That's how you keep the peace. That's how you prevent wars. But you have a bunch of academics uh, right now, like Blinken, like Austin and others, that think if I can just get them to the table, if I can just be nice enough, I can just make enough concessions, then they'll be kind back. Uh, and it, it just we, it could not be more dangerous. Do you believe, um, which is this is what I believe, that the elites in Washington and academia in Wall Street they, they've actually already come to terms of the fact that China has eclipsed the United States, and they just want to smooth things out. Now, I, I call it a surrender because I think it is. And I, I, I worked for President Reagan as a young person in my early 20s. Okay, I think it's a surrender. How would you describe this? Well, it's, it's, it's a quiet surrender with everybody making money on top of it, Laura. All the establishment institutions that the Democrats care the most about academia, Hollywood, sports industry, woke corporations on Wall Street. Number one, they believe America is fundamentally a bad country. Uh, number two, they have Marxist uh, roots in the sense of what's going on with, you know, with Xi pushing socialism with Chinese characteristics. And number three, if they can just keep the status quo, we can make the, make the next bonus, make the next, uh, next quarterly earnings. So Biden, Blinken and crew don't rock the boat keep the gravy, the gravy train uh, coming. And House Republicans are doing everything we can to stop it. We're going to ban farmland purchases. We're going to ban, I have a bill that we're introducing tomorrow to ban pensions from, uh, the military pensions from investing in, into Beijing. Yeah. Build up our military, arm our allies. This is how we prevent uh, this World War III 
that's right around the corner uh, from yep. starting. I will, I will add, build our industrial base back better. That's what we need to do, Congressman. Wonderful bring to see the you. Bring the supply you. chains home. Uh, we have back, to bring, the, we have to bring home. them home. Absolutely. Congressman, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.